Yo, what is up, people? This is Zero, and I got a story time for you. And this uh, story time kind of was was inspired was inspired by Planet Tide, like what she was talking about. Uh, not to date your coworkers. I'll put the video in the description box in the comment section, so y'all can go check her out. She has a great channel with story times and and little tips so yeah that's a challenge to check out if you can so pretty much you know this you know i'm listening i i got thinking about my experience uh my work experience dealing with the uh, like co-worker and i remember uh and in the explain like how this i started like you know where a co-worker wanted to date me it, it, it kind of started like after, you know, like when I was young. It's one of my first thing, one of my earlier jobs, one of my first jobs. I think it's probably maybe my fourth or fifth one, I think. But it was still like pretty early with me, you know, doing jobs. I think I was, that was I, had, I had to be 21 when I worked in the job. Yeah, I think I was. So when I went, uh, and worked at his job, and I think I worked there maybe either a few months or a year now. And I think it was like some new people came in. You know, it was, it was, it, it was cool. I mean, I mean, the job paid, but I, yeah, the, the way they did stuff, I just didn't like. Like, I worked as like a session entertain. I worked at a like a so Mason now. It's like called the Bridgestone Arena now, but. At that time, it was called the Summit Center. And, I mean, of course, I, I mean, I remember, uh, you know, I usually just, I just come in and I do my work and I'm chilling. You know, I usually don't even really, you know, talk to folks like that unless I'm just cool with you like that. Or, you know, you seem like you're cool to talk to. And I and I know like you know work like I know I've had like uh, I've had like people uh, you know ask me, you know ask me like uh, well no I had one female ask me and I remember like her asking me and I I remember she said it like she was talking about like yeah you know go you know such such thing like homecoming or something like that and I thought she was just you know playing around like I was like can't be serious. Cause I, I mean, at that at that time, like when I was younger, I didn't, really didn't pick up on like you know things like that. I was still like kind of learning. Cause like even like in high school, like I was just kind of just like kind of just looked into like a relationship. Like and I ain't really had it. I ain't I ain't had, I really don't have many uh, like far like boyfriend girlfriend relationships. So. I mean, I wasn't like no player nothing like that. And, and after, you know, seeing my friends, like, what he go, what he went through, like, doing, like, players build, like, during high school, like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but, I remember there was, like, one, one girl that was, like, you know, that had asked me, and I, I thought she was just playing, and then when she came, I was, like, you know, pretty much, like, she was, like, you know, she, you know, she was talking like she really was serious, like, they we got close to it, I just, I didn't know what to say, so I just laughed and just went away, like, I mean, you know, when, wasn't nothing wrong with it. It's just like I just wasn't feeling it like that, and I didn't. I mean, she was she was cool. Like I'm pretty sure I probably wouldn't be, you know, cool with her. But I just, I just didn't know how to react. So I just laughed and just walked off. Like just her ran off. Like I didn't know how to react to that. And, and you know, of course, like you know, I think I think I remember I had like, one manager. You know, I mean, even there, like it was kind of crazy. Like I had one manager who kept, who kept, you know, kept trying to, you know, like very aggressive, like trying to, you know, be talking about, yeah, you, I mean, you like it, whatever. Like I mean, I had no attraction whatsoever, but she was talking like she was gonna, like, what she was talking, was talking like she was gonna kidnap me or and and make me, you know. Sleep with her, like nah. I'm like nah. We ain't doing that. And I'll tell people like, hey, if I'm if I'm missing, you know, that's check her house. Like, you know, they were laughing. I was like, I'm dead serious. 
if she, if she was able to do that, but. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, it's like, it's like, until you really kind of explain it. You know, when I, when I got this new job, you, this is like, and then this probably goes to another story too. Cause I know I'm kind of going back a little, I know I'm going back, but you know, I got another story where uh, I had actually met Lil Wayne and, I, and I'll get into that later. It's like, I sort of, but I, I, I'll explain in, the, in another story time, maybe the next one. So, pretty much had had like, you know, coworkers, you know, coworkers like that. And I, I really, she really kind of made me a go with all that. And at the time, I didn't think I could, you know, go to HR with such a rants about that. And, and, and even if I did, I don't even know if I would have been taken seriously in the first place. Because, you know, people tend not to take guys seriously in that. Especially if the woman's attractive, but she was, I don't think she would be considered very attractive in that case, but even though she, but she's a woman, so she, they may, they may just uh, laugh, laugh at it anyway, and just tell me to just deal with it or whatever. So I was like, okay. So I was like, well, I just had to put up with it. I felt like I had to put up with it. And, and I, and I think I even had like, you know, like, had like one guy that kept trying to Hates because like you know he I guess he I guess he thought I was you know I was I was into that because I didn't really have a problem with gay people. I mean I think I mean I was like a, like a younger I kind of kind of did but that was because I didn't really know anything about them. But once I kind of like knew like who gay people were and all that I didn't really you know feel that as that same kind of fear or whatever. So. I mean, you know, I had no problem with him, but he, you know, he got aggressive like, bro, I said, I kept telling him, like, I'm not into you like that, bro. I don't like guys. I kept telling him that. And it was like, he just kept getting, getting aggressive, like, and I and I moved away from him because, like, if I, you know, I kept, like, trying to, you know, run away from him because if I stay there, I'm going to fight him. So I didn't want to do that, you know, trying to keep the job, whatever. And eventually, eventually stopped, and and I th- and I think like even and I, and I know another gay guy did. He kind he kind of like a female. Like I mean, you know, I mean, obviously you you would know he wasn't because he had the name tag was obviously a guy's name. And I mean, even though he is kind of you know like hit on me, he wasn't aggressive. He was like, yeah, you know, you know, like he tried to shoot a shot and then I politely turned down and you know. Going by by a day, you know he, he he was cool, but but yeah and yeah but the but the but the main story was talking about like it was like one chick I I did actually was was feeling and did kind of one day but and and I I remember, remember we were talking and and. Uh, I remember one day she came, she came over there, she was smelling good, whatever, you know, looking, you know, looking good, whatnot. And and then, then I remember she hugged me. <laughs> when she hugged me, I felt like, you know, like my my chest got stabbed. I was like, oh, look. I'm thinking like, oh, those nibbles, they felt like spikes. I, I kid you not. I kid you not, they felt like spikes. I was like, oh, ooh. <laughs> but... But you know, I mean, you talk to her. She wanted, you know, she wanted to be me, and I was like, she wanted a date, and I'm like, nah, I, was like, I can't. I said, nah, I can't do that because we, you know, we coworkers. So you know, I, you know, it's like if we weren't, then that'd be a whole different story. But you know, since we coworkers, I'm not gonna do that. Cause I'm, cause I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm not trying to leave by, you know, if things go bad. So that's like why I didn't do it, and. Even after that, like, you know, I think I think after a while she was there, then she left, she quit, and she worked somewhere else. And I remember, uh, I remember running into her one day when I was at the bus stop. I was like, I was like on my off day, and I ran into her, and I was talking to her, and she was talking about like, she worked, she worked at a temp job at that time and all that. And 
I was like, okay, well, she's single now. And, I mean, well, now we ain't, we ain't working together and we having to run into each other. So I was like, let me get a number then. I asked for a number. You know, and, and that very day, uh, I mean, very night. And at night, I, I, don't know, I don't know if it was that night or the next one, but I called her, called her up at night. It wasn't like, you know, too late. It was like kind of like, uh, probably like six or seven, you know, good good time, like where, you know, you expect somebody to be home from work, you know, and be chilling. So, it was either that or it may have been eight, eight, eight the latest. So, I remember I had, uh, went and called her. And, you know, we, you know, and she picked up who, we were talking for a you know, good little minute. And next thing I hear, I hear, you know, next thing I know, I hear a, I hear a baby crying in the back. <laughs> I don't know, a baby or a child, but it sounded like a baby. So, so he's like, yeah, hold on for a second. And then I was, I was like, you know, just sitting there thinking, I said, man, I hope that's her, her nephew or something like and and then I then I asked, I said, uh asked the I said I said, who's that in, who's that in the background? So, oh, that's my son. And I'm like, oh. I was like, oh man, I love it. I don't know how I am thinking like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. And <laughs> and then like I said, Why is they and I asked, I said, You wanna call you back? She said, Yeah, just call me back. Yes. And then after that I did not uh Call her back. I didn't. I was like, think about like maybe, maybe I should, but then some tell me I shouldn't, so I didn't. And I mean, I just never even spoke to her. Then. And and you know, it's got like think about it, like at the at the time back then, the, I, I had a cell phone, but it wasn't. Uh, they have they have smartphones. Then. Well, they probably did, but they weren't popular. You know, you had like the little touch screen, touch tone phones and all that, so. So yeah, I mean, I don't know like how that relationship would have gone if I had pursued it, but you know, I'm like, like I said, I'm like, I think that time I'm probably like 21, 22, so. Yeah, I mean, I knew like I'm definitely ain't ready to be, you know, dealing with, uh, dealing with somebody who got a kid. So, I guess with, I guess, uh, you know, that's pr- pretty much the end, the end of that story, like, as far as that. And I will be back with another one soon. Maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe next day. But, till then, thank y'all for listening. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Holders, Minds, by Race People, and I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.